So, today I've got a few tidbits to discuss on the summer patch. Reading Reddit can give you a lot of knowledge <laughs> and could also make you see some things that you will never, ever forget. <laughs> but besides that, before we get started, I wanted to show you guys my crosshair and aim down sight colours. Because for weeks now, a lot of you have been asking what the RGB numbers are that you need to make that cool teal blue look that I've got going on. Which kind of reminds me of Tron a little bit, but here are the numbers because I do want you to, well, I want you to feel like I'm including you in this really cool colour scheme that I've got going on. But yeah, so what you need to do is go into the game and go to advanced gameplay options and then scroll down to soldier hipfire reticle which is the option to change the colour of your crosshairs. You'll see a little preview on the right to help you get the right colour or any colour that you want really, but my values are as follows. The size and visibility stays at 100% default. Red is 0, green is 165 or 65% and blue is 135 or 52%. And these values are exactly the same for the reticle colour as well. Size is default to 100%, but glow I have set to 200%. Just to make sure that I can differentiate the dot on the site from everything else that's going on in the background, because sometimes you can lose sight of it in bright light. Right, on to more important stuff then. I've got some locker corridor gameplay for you today, which I'm sure is what you all want to see. A uh, slight difference though, is that the majority of the time there were no explosives going off, which is always a good thing in my opinion, uh, but we were all running around with pistols. I was in a pistols only server. I had such a blast playing this, honestly. For like an hour I was just loving getting a few flanks on and, and taking people out with, I think it was the Silence PP26 or P226 I think it's called, uh, which is a really nice pistol by the way. Um, I think it's actually the starter pistol, which is probably why I've never really used it. I assumed it was just rubbish and then moved on to something else. But as it turns out, it is actually a really good pistol to use. It's kind of like a middle ground between everything that a pistol might offer. It's got the standard damage model, but it's got 16 bullets in there, so you can spam a little bit. And most of the time, I just use hip fire when I'm using a pistol because I tend to be in close range if I'm using it. So it kind of suited me down to the ground. I stuck a laser sight on there. I did put a mini RDS, I think, as well for some aiming down sight accuracy. But apart from that, it was a really good pistol to use. And, well, the gameplay was really fun. But on to the summer patch now. I think as recently as Wednesday last week, I think Dice LA dropped the latest build of the patch into the CTE, giving all players a chance to fully test the 120Hz servers that hopefully will be available in the future. They removed the community map and the Dragon Valley map from the mix, and then later confirmed that neither of those maps will be in the summer update. That might annoy a lot of you, and considering the jungle map has been in testing for a while now, I think a lot of you might have expected the map to make an appearance, but Dice LA are still not 100% done with the design of the map, and some of the textures have still not been added. As for Dragon Valley, well, that's still a ways off as well, because it's only been tested for a couple of weeks so far, so it's not really anywhere near ready to go into vanilla. The 120Hz servers, though, did feel absolutely amazing. There's no denying that they are probably the biggest and most impressive update that Dice LA have worked on for Battlefield 4 so far. I'd really like to see them make them into vanilla very soon, and that appears to be the plan. The hit reg is near perfect, but it's never going to be 100% perfect. We are working with latency over the internet here. But Dice LA's plan is the following. To release the summer patch with all the fixes needed to make sure the 120Hz servers work correctly, like underlying physics issues and things like that, and then work directly with server rental companies to see what their setups can actually handle. Their ultimate goal is to allow public servers to run at a higher tick rate than what they are at right now. 120Hz is not the final figure. That's due to happen sometime after the summer patch, but they're hesitant to offer them straight out of the gate without the servers companies being able to actually test what Dice LA have created here. 
One thing that I am happy to confirm that is going to be in the summer patch is the map Zavod 311 Graveyard Shift. That's one of the night maps that's been worked on in the CTE for a long time now. And I'm really glad they picked this one of the three that they've been working on. The other two are Goldmud Railway and Siege of Shanghai. I'm really glad that they chose this one first. It's by far the best map in terms of layout and gameplay of any in the base offerings of Battlefield 4. And at night with all the fog and dim lighting and that forest setting, it is just a really cool map to play on. As for the other two maps though, well they haven't said anything about those yet. So I guess like the jungle map and Dragon Valley, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer before they see the light of day. And one more thing that I want to mention today, because I know a lot of you out there are still playing the vanilla version of Battlefield 4 and having to deal with little bugs and issues that are still in that game. And of course, if you're playing CTE as well, then you will of course experience bugs over there. That's the point of the testing environment. But if you do sort of notice any bugs whatsoever, then it's important that you let the developers know. There's a link in the description that takes you over to the Battlefield 4 bug tracker, which was created by my friend Red Spider. And there is also a CTE variant at the top. So if you're wanting to report a bug for BF4 CTE, that's just up the top. You just have to click it up there. And you can report the bug directly to the developers. That tool right there on that screen is what the developers use to track all the bugs that they're working on fixing, bugs that they have fixed, ones that will go into the next patch. Essentially, that is an open look at what the developers are working on. So it makes sense to help them as much as we can. So if you do notice anything, click on that link in the description below, submit your bug report with as much detail as you can give them, and then hopefully it'll get fixed. And one super duper final thing, I promise this is the last thing today, but for those of you that follow me on Twitter, you might have noticed recently that I took receipt of a new SSD from SanDisk. It's one of their Extreme Pro Editions, 480 gigabytes. I've now migrated all of my games onto this thing and it is just ridiculously fast. There's still about 100 gigabytes free space on there as well, so I use it for recording from Shadowplay and recording from DX Story. And doing a quick test with it the other day, I was able to record at nearly 400 megabytes a second, which is absolutely amazing. So if I ever wanted to record anything higher than 1080p or anything higher than 60 FPS, then this drive would be able to cope with it. In turn for them sending me this SSD, they've asked me to send you to a link that's in the description, which takes you to the scan website where they've actually got a promotion going right now where the drive is up for sale for just £150. So for a 500 gigabyte SSD, which is actually one of the fastest on the market right now, that's an absolutely fantastic price. I'm not sure how long the discount is going on for, but if you're in the market for an SSD, then I highly recommend the SanDisk Extreme Pro. So if you're looking for one, there's a link in the description. But that's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching. Drop me a thumbs up down below and a comment as well. Let me know what you think about the summer patch for Battlefield 4 and how it's shaping up so far. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.